Right, for most of you guys, I recommend you use the DWM stable releases, which are things like 6.1 now. But for the real, ultimate, cool, suckless guys, I recommend <laughs> doing what I do and occasionally just git pull and and see what the latest head uh, of, um, of DWM or ST is. So let's just go through my process here, uh, which which might be interesting to you. So for example here, I'm using like maybe the November 8th version. Um, it's already compiled, it works. I've been using it, but I wanna update. So the, the way I do it is I first go um, back up my, my existing configuration, to say config.back. Actually, I just, I might as well just remove it actually. Um, or move it. And then I do a git pull. So get a whole bunch of updates and now we're on Jan 7th. Um, and then I um, launch vimdiff. Uh, actually, I should, I should copy my. So basically, basically what happens when you compile with your old, old configuration on, on some new changes is, is that you're probably gonna hit some error because they, they introduce new variables and things like that. So the way to fix that is to compare it to the default config and your config. And then, then usually the changes are quite sort of apparent. So uh, in vimdiff, let's see, show keys. Show key. In vimdiff, you can go DP to put stuff on the other onto you, uh, into the other buffer. Does that make sense? D P D and then D O to obtain the uh, the changes. So probably you want that. Probably want that. I mean, I stick to defaults for the most thing. The the only things I don't I don't have are like I probably want to keep that and I change a couple of binds just a couple okay let's try that fonts where well, I couldn't quite actually see what the difference there was fonts static const char yeah, it looks fine Oh, hmm? la -dee -da -dee -da -da. Oh, I see. That I'm redoing it twice. Let's try that again. Okay, now it compiles, so I'm sure it'll probably work. Um, what I wanted to say is that I have been using uh, X backlight to alter the the um, the brightness of my screen, but that has basically stopped working. So I just wanted to mention that I have written my own brightness script. And I discovered by sort of finding and grepping around my uh, proc and then sys is that there is a nice sort of file that I can echo uh, values into that changes the brightness of my screen. So basically, um, to change that bind, I would just, instead of using expat light, which is, you know, files are way better than using a, uh, a binary to manipulate some hardware in my opinion. Everything should be a file, even devices. Um, so yeah, the, it, it, turns, it turns out to be something like this. In fact, you can, you can see what I've done in, in here. Brightness. And it works. So yeah, that's how I keep DW up to date. I do a git pull. I sort of vimdiff um, to see what the changes are between the default and mine. I compile it and then 
and then I, I shift alt Q and quit and usually I get the new DWM and it usually just works. If it doesn't, I usually keep a DWM binary around. So that's it. I hope you found that interesting. Cheers guys, happy suck lessing. Please like the video and subscribe.